When a person suddenly disappears without a trace, the shock for the relatives is understandably great. From then on, the questions about the whereabouts and the fate of the missing person determine the tormenting thoughts of the concerned friends and relatives. Even more mysterious are those cases in which not just one person, but whole groups of people are seemingly swallowed up by the Earth. The 10 mysterious stories that we're going to present to you in more detail today also deal with mysterious mass disappearance. What happened to the missing people? What do we know about the backgrounds of these cases? Together with you, we look for answers. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about one of the most disturbing unsolved mass disappearances in human history. The Gill Family For more than 20 years, there's been no trace of the Gill Family and nobody knows what happened to them. What's certain is that the Argentines were last seen on January 12, 2002. On the evening of that day, the family of six went to a nearby town to visit a good friend. The stay should have lasted around three months. However, after the Gill family had still not returned home in April of the same year, a concerned relative informed the local police. The investigation revealed that Ruben's cell phone was last used on January 13th. However, the woman who called Reuben at the time could never be located. What became of the family is an unsolved mystery. Some suspect the owner of the estate where the Gills lived and worked to have murdered the missing in cold blood and then buried them somewhere in the wilderness. The suspect, who was never charged with anything, died in a car crash in 2016. Cases such as this one are often the most difficult for families, as there's absolutely no evidence to tell what could have happened to them. In many instances, police at least have a lead to go on. However, with no proof of the family whatsoever, the relatives are left begging for answers. In reality, literally anything could have happened to the family, and the case in all actuality may never be solved. Mary Celeste don't get us wrong, Mary Celeste is not the name of a woman who's disappeared without a trace, but the official title of a sailing ship that was completely abandoned on the Atlantic in 1872. As one of the most famous ghost ships of all time, the Mary Celeste is regularly at the center of controversy. The theories about the fate of the missing crew range from pirate attacks to sea quakes and alien kidnappings. One approach seems a little more earthly, saying that the crew abandoned the ship for fear of a large explosion. This theory is more believable because the Mary Celeste actually carried large quantities of raw alcohol with her at the time. Some experts suspect that some of the barrels leaked, causing the fumes to ignite when the chef lit the stove. Since alcohol burns typically leave no combustion residues, no traces of smoke could be discovered. The crew may then have boarded the lifeboat, which was eventually torn from the ship and drifted out to sea. Theories have run rampant ever since the ship disappeared. Some people believe that the ship simply sank because it was potentially overloaded, while others believe that it was hijacked. In reality, the most obvious answer is commonly the correct one. It seems that all signs indicate that the Mary Celeste likely burned while it was in open waters. Some believe that the passengers boarded a lifeboat and fled. However, there's also a much more grim reality. Considering no lifeboat has ever been found and no remains of any of the passengers have been located, it seems entirely possible that the passengers went down with the ship. Anjikuni Village it was 1932 when a fur trader visited a village near Lake Anjikuni in Canada. When the man reaches the tranquil village to swap his skins with the locals, he immediately notices that something is wrong. The village was completely deserted. 
particularly strange. Although there was no trace of the residents, the fires under the cooking stoves were still crackling. The stews that simmered on the fires were waiting to be eaten. The clothing and other everyday objects were still in their intended places. It seemed that the hundreds of villagers had left their homes in a hurry. As if the circumstances weren't mysterious enough, the fur trader couldn't see any footprints in the snow-covered landscape. Later, voices were heard from people from the surrounding settlements who claimed to have seen a brilliant blue light in what later became the ghost village on that fateful day. For this reason, some people to this day believe that the missing were abducted by aliens or fell victim to a supernatural event. There are a handful of other theories that may seem a bit more realistic, however. According to some researchers, it seems unlikely an alien invasion took place. It also seems somewhat unlikely that a raid took place, as there were dozens of valuables that had been left behind undisturbed. What many researchers believe happened is that the village was threatened by some unknown force. Because of this, they gathered what little they could and fled to a safer location. Though even this theory has many flaws. After all, if this were the truth, wouldn't one of the members of this small village have spoken out by now? After all, surely some of these villagers knew that someone would eventually be looking for them and make themselves known. Though it doesn't seem like this ever happened. Because of this, the mass disappearance of Lake Anjikuni remains unsolved. Roanoke Colony Founded in August 1585, the Roanoke Colony was the second permanent English settlement in North America. When the British colonial governor John White returned to Roanoke Island in 1590 to pay a visit to the 118 residents, he couldn't believe his eyes. The town was completely deserted. While there was no sign of a struggle in the village, someone had carved the word Croatoan into a tree. It was the name of an island ruled by the chief Manteo. All attempts to find the missing settlers came to nothing. Some historians believe that the residents voluntarily mixed with the local Indian tribes. Others think it's more likely that the missing were kidnapped or killed. Hur Verde In the early 1920s, a small Brazilian village known as Hur Verde completely vanished overnight, with all of its inhabitants leaving their belongings, food, and other possessions behind. The disappearance was discovered by a group of travelers who passed by hoping for shelter. As they entered the village, it became quite obvious that it had been abandoned, as they recall hearing no human chatter or even any signs of animals or insects nearby. The travelers informed police, at which time an investigation began. They searched all of the nearby buildings and eventually found a note etched onto the blackboard of a school, reading, There is no salvation, as well as a gun nearby that had recently been fired. To this day, no one has any idea where these 600-plus people could have disappeared to. No bodies were ever found, and no trace of them was left behind. Some claim that they may have become the victims of some sort of religious rapture, or possibly even been abducted by aliens, though the simple answer remains, we simply don't know. The Dalcio Case when the three friends, Gay Carlson, Kiel Johansson, and Jan Dalcio set out on a trip together on July 29, 1965, all was right with the world in Gothenburg, Sweden. After all, nobody could have guessed at this point that this was the last time the young men would be seen. What we do know is that the buddies wanted to spend a camping weekend together. However, what ultimately happened to them is unknown. Even more puzzling, that day another person disappeared in Gothenburg. The hitchhiker Hubner Lundqvist has since disappeared from the face of the earth. Some people think it's conceivable that Hubner was taken away by the three friends and eventually met the same fate as them. Nina when Nina disappeared in the summer of 2013, she could already look back on an eventful 85-year past. However, Nina was not an elderly lady, but a yacht that at the time belonged to a man named David Dyke. Together with his crew, David wanted to steer his beloved boat from New Zealand to Australia. 
However, the men were never seen at their destination port. At first, the relatives of the missing people still hoped that the adverse weather conditions would only delay Nina's arrival a little. After several days, however, this hope was to evaporate, which is why the official authorities launched one of the largest maritime searches in the country's history. Unfortunately, the efforts of the rescue workers were not crowned with success. Nina is still lost and cannot be found. Unsolved cases such as this one are often some of the hardest cases for experts to solve. It's difficult enough if your missing person or missing people are lost while they're traveling on land. However, considering how massive open bodies of water can be, it makes these cases all the more difficult to get to the bottom of. To make matters worse, the open waters are also an easy way for people to get lost, not because they lose direction, but because many boats are not perfect vessels. Even so much as a difficult sea current can cause a boat to capsize, sink, or worse. In these cases, it's unlikely the passengers will ever be found. It's a truly heartbreaking scenario that many people are faced with, but it's the harsh reality of a life or even a simple adventure. Kaz 2 In 2007, a helicopter spotted a 33-foot catamaran floating lonely off the Queensland coast. The subsequent investigations revealed that it was the Kaz 2 which had previously set sail with three men on board. Again, there was no trace of that three-person crew. Although the ship's sail had been damaged, experts believe it was still seaworthy. So what could have prompted the men who had been missing for 15 years to leave the safety of Kaz-2? And above all, why did they leave the catamaran head over heels? When the Kaz-2 was found, her engine was running. A freshly set table and a switched-on laptop could also be found on board. When the men left the ship, they hadn't even taken their life jackets with them. Some suspect that the missing fell victim to a tragedy such as a swimming accident or something similar. Others see the story as a setup. The missing men deliberately staged their disappearance in order to secretly get away. Other, stranger theories suggest that the passengers could even have been abducted by aliens. The truth is, no remnants of the passengers or any clues regarding their whereabouts have ever been found. The story is by far one of the strangest occurrences at sea that the world has ever seen. It would make sense if the men had taken their life jackets with them when they eventually exited the safety of the interior of the boat. However, considering their life jackets were left behind, no one has any idea what became of them. Ancient Nuclear Strike some ancient writings say that what is now Pakistan was home to a progressive culture that certainly didn't have to hide from the ancient Egyptians and the inhabitants of Mesopotamia. The archaeological investigation of the region in question brought to light, among other things, complex water systems. The researchers also found the mortal remains of some former residents there. Detailed analysis of the bones and the positions in which the skeletons were located suggests that the members of this fascinating ethnic group died in one fell swoop. British researcher David Davenport's work revealed that the sites had experienced intense radiation and a massive heat burst. The conclusion of the expert, which is hotly disputed to this day, was therefore the culture had been wiped out by a targeted nuclear attack, and that would have taken place in the year 1500 BC. What are your thoughts on this controversial theory? Let us know in the comments below. USS Cyclops The mysterious disappearance of the USS Cyclops has also been the subject of exciting legends for over a hundred years. Set sail on March 4, 1918, the US Navy coal ship disappeared shortly thereafter in the legendary Bermuda Triangle. Since then, neither the 165-meter-long ship nor the 306-strong crew have been seen again. One theory is that the USS Cyclops was sunk by German forces, although the German Navy vehemently contradicted this account after the end of the First World War. However, this explanation does not seem completely far-fetched. At that time, the USS Cyclops was transporting 11,000 tons of manganese ore, which played an important role in ammunition production. Another simpler theory is that a fire broke out on the ship, and it simply exploded or burnt down as a result of the ammunition that was being carried. Alright folks, now your opinion matters. 
What do you think of the mysterious missing persons cases? We're already looking forward to your comments. Feel free to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. Thank you for your interest. Take care and see you next time.